What up? Casey here with Living Youthful. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. So today we're jumping into my brand new series, Peptide Guide for Newbies. We're going to be breaking down the peptide some more. I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial on mixing dosage injection. So that way you can start researching this peptide at home today. So Samorlin is one of the handful of GHRHs. That's a growth hormone releasing hormone. It's made up of 29 amino acids. It was patented and marketed in 1990 by a German pharmaceutical company. And Samorlin is clinically used to help secrete more HGH from your pituitary gland. And this will give us benefits such as increased IGF-1 levels, it will help with bone health, skin health, tissue repair, overall better sleep, body composition, along with other excellent benefits. So Morlin is one of the more popular peptides among medical professionals. This is one that you usually see them prescribe a little bit more. You can pair this Samorlin with a GHRP, and that would be your ipamorelin. Ipamorelin actually helps release HGH from the stomach area, the ghrelin, or otherwise known as the hunger hormone. Those are two different parts of the body. You have both these peptides working in your system, you're gonna get better benefits as opposed to just one. Let's jump into dosage. Strictly educational. Somebody can stay on this peptide year round without taking any breaks if they stay on a lower dosage at 200 to 300 micrograms. Usually 250 to 300 is the lower dosage for this. With that small dosage, I would recommend just doing it at night not trying to split that at all. So just one injection at night on a fasted stomach. There is a different protocol. You can do 500 micrograms a day, but you do want to research it for 16 weeks and then take 30 days off for the receptor sites. If you want to split your 500 micrograms a day, you could do once in the morning, once in the evening. If you guys are doing it in the morning, I'd recommend just waking up first thing, doing your injection, waiting 30 minutes to an hour before you eat, so that way you get maximum benefits from the peptide. You do 250 in the morning, 250 at night, 12 to 16 weeks, taking 30 days off with this protocol. If you are being prescribed this peptide by a medical professional, 250 to 300, you can stay on that and receive benefits. Let's say you don't see benefits after a while, then you can bump it up a little bit more, increase it to that 500 micrograms. Just jumping into why you do this while you're fasting is because your insulin levels after you eat will spike and they're gonna shoot for the receptor sites, the same ones as the GH or the peptides. You have your GH and your insulin fighting for the same receptor sites, you're not gonna get as great a benefit. So that's why you wanna wait at least two hours. Let's just break this vial down. If you guys are researching 250 micrograms a day out of this five milligram vial, that is going to be 20 doses. I recommend putting in 2 ml and then you can pull to that 10 mark and that's going to be 250 micrograms and since you put in 2 ml that's 200 units that's going to be 20 doses. If you guys want to do 300 micrograms you can put 2 ml and just pull to the 12 mark and that's going to be 300 micrograms of your peptide. If you guys are researching 500 micrograms a day out of this vial it's going to be 10 doses. If you guys are doing the blend, Samorlin and Ipamorelin, that five by five vial is the exact same thing. If you put in one ML in that five by five vial and extract to the 10 mark, that's gonna be 500 micrograms of each peptide. It's not gonna be 250 of each equaling 500. It's actually gonna be 500 micrograms of Samorlin and 500 micrograms of Ipamorelin. Two ML and go to that 10 mark, then it's gonna be 250 micrograms of each peptide. That's a quick way to break that down. You're gonna to wanna to inject this peptide into your abdominal area or glute area, the top of your glutes, for the best benefits. The main difference between your Samorlin, CJC, and Tessamorelin is the half-life. I do know with CJC and Tessamorelin, I was able to get a ton of vascularity and striation in my muscles. I know that Tessamorelin has the trans-3 hexanoic acid and I did notice the striation and the vascularity from Tessamorelin was different from CJC. Um, I still looked great on CJC, but it was superhuman as soon as I started taking the Tessamorelin. I know that with Samorlin, I have not researched this peptide yet. You do get great body composition and lean mass, but I just don't think it's as effective as giving you the vascularity or the striation like CJC or Tessamorelin. If you guys are interested in researching other peptides, definitely check out my channel. But with that being said, this is Casey with Living Youthful. If this video has brought you value, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.